Oh, come on, look at that. That's look at the defending there. Absolutely horrendous. <laughs> <laughs> and what's the goalkeeper supposed to do when uh, the striker is just uh, a few yards away uh, from, from me? So there was nothing he could have done. Could he have done better, Chinese? Well, well, of course, I don't blame goalkeeper at all because, like you said, the defense was all over the place. Yeah. Uh, look, the Abia were all players were just. Just, just look at that one. Sixes and sevens. Sixes and sevens. I, I don't know if they were actually ready to play this, this game. game. Yeah. And you know, coming up against an Abia Warriors team that you know one of the most unpredictable teams in the league. Correct. They can come to your home. They can beat you. You know, you can you can you can thrash them at their at their home ground, but mm. on their day. Trust me, Abia Warriors, I, I think, I think they're the most unpredictable team in the I league mean, because you don't know what to expect. You don't know the kind of Abia Warriors to expect. And unfortunately for Rangers, uh, they caught them on a bad day and it was 4 <laughs> nothing. That's the wow. reaction from the game. <laughs> we work very hard to get a victory, but we don't expect it. It's this easy. I think it's hard working now before this victory because we know full well that we never defeated any Ranger here before. That is why I tell my boss we have to be right history and I really thank God God that come out with the match plan. We get our goal as quickly as we can and that was what gave us the that was what gave us the match. I will play with a lot of confidence you can see today Ranger look ordinary. Well actually um, this is our first time of winning Rangers in Nakama so I think uh, we are happy winning them and the majority goal I think uh, we are happy at least because before the match uh, everybody was like it's Rangers, it's Rangers so the tension was high but the match you think is going to be difficult is the one going to be easy for me, so we thank God for the victory, so I'm happy for the match. All right, reactions yeah. from the... No. Yeah, just, just, yeah okay. I just want to chip something in. Um, before we... Um, Talk about Kanemi and... Yeah, Kanemi. Rivers. Yeah, I mean, if I'm about... After beating um, 3SC uh, last week, Mike did 20 away in the battle. What a way to consolidate. Yeah, you know... I think uh, from the beginning of the season, we had an idea of what they wanted to do this season, which is go all out and try and win the league. Mm. And uh, right now, they're in third place. Uh, yeah. They are above uh, MFM, although I think they, are, they have the same points. Uh, or they're, yes, they're about, correct. They're about, uh, points. they're about five points off the top of the table. So I think they should keep, we should keep an eye on Ifa and Yuba because, mm. you know, this is the business end of the season. Uh, the second half is just starting. So from, yeah. right, from, from this point until the end of the season, you begin to see teams show you what they are capable of, show you their metal, show you what to expect from them. And they started the second half on a very good footing. So let's so watch Ifan Iba and see yeah. if they will be there right there at the end of the season. Yeah, you know, you season. talk about if I by their position right now. They're not third. third. MFM has dropped to fourth because at home they couldn't win and away from home they lost 3 0. <laughs> and then you have economy whereas the coach has said now that they're second, mm. they cannot let it go. Mm. So let's just take a look at that game between economy whereas and also Rivers United. Rivers. Now, I think for Rivers United, the good thing is. For them to have been able to, uh, the good thing, yes, it's good. Honor there or that he was able to score yeah, a goal. Away from home. That's the first consolation. They had like f in 508 minutes. Consolation. I mean, that's the first time they're scoring that goal. Away and from and that was the only goal away from home in the in in the this okay. weekend in the league. <laughs> so. to score away from home this, this, but still this lost. weekend. Uh, yeah, they still lost, but at least uh, you, you yeah. try to take any positives you can no, get. No, no positives. <laughs> you know yeah. the fact that he hadn't scored away from home for such a long time, long time. and gets him a goal. Uh, I think I think that you should be able to build on that <laughs> going into the next set of fixtures. <laughs> Something beautiful from there because that's the only thing you can just look at. <laughs> that's where the goal came in and. For this particular goal that came in, the coach wasn't really happy about it because he felt yeah. he could have been able to defend it and not allow okay. this and just win wonderfully. But then he got it and that was it for Rangers. So that's consolation uh, for Rivers and that's why they did not celebrate. Let's listen to coach Stanley Eguman and talking about that game. And also the coach of Economy were saying that now they are at the top, they would not give it up. That's second spot on the log table. I'm not happy with the shooting, but that's something I can say about it. I think the pitch really, really affected our game. It's not a good pitch for football. It doesn't allow the flow of game. It's very, very bumpy. And, you know, but I think uh, that first half, it affected us so much. But second half, when we came in, we tried to make some adjustments. And you know, that's why we were able to play better in second half. At least we would have, we should have uh, if Ravra had given us the penalty opportunities we got, at least we should have been... Uh, we wouldn't have lost the game. It would have been a different uh, uh, result today. But uh, there's nothing we can do. We have lost, we have lost. We get to work harder next game. Rivers United, they are the only Nigerian team that's playing the continent up to now. They have a compact team. They play robust football. And we, we try to, to adapt to it. But you can look at the added time. My boss are too careless to have considered that goal. 
don't know whether it was a crime on the outside to, to, to lead or to win with a 2-0 uh, margin. However, we plan to get our three points in this match, and God has helped us to get it. Because as of today, no matter what the outcome the result of other places, we are second. No doubt about it. And that is what we are praying for. Now they have sustained themselves, we are able to achieve being second in the log now. The only thing is to see how we can try to strive to maintain that position to the end of the league. Yeah, welcome back. Okay, do we have time for FA Cup? I don't think so. Now, let's yeah. go back to T. Yeah. Yeah, this big boy, I mean. Big no, boy. <laughs> big boy, because you have a player who played for just one just club. One. I mean, it reminds me of John Terry. He's retiring, yeah. but John Terry still wants to play. That's a difference. Yeah, but there's a bit of difference there as well, because John Terry went to Nottingham Forest on loan and started at West Ham. This guy started, Francesco Totti, played all his career from the under-19s uh, to the senior team with AS Roma. Now yeah, you know, uh, those one club men are uh, they are getting fewer and fewer. Yeah. You remember the likes of Paolo Maldini, Antonio Baresi, uh, Franco Baresi, mm. Aaron Giggs, you know, Paul Scholes, people the uh, players that just played for one club alone. And now Francesco Totti. I think the next person still in that line is Daniele De Rossi. Uh, the rumor, the, the other guy who, who one of the hardest men and you know in football and here right. was actually caught crying, mm -hmm. you know, shedding tears. Uh, who, would believe, who would believe that De Rossi would actually shed tears? Uh, nah. you know, he was shedding tears because twenty four years. You know, with it's a club, long time to be playing at 40, club. coming in and actually crowning it all up with, uh, with with the fact that Roma were able to win and consolidate their automatic qualifying spots for the Champions yes. League. I think, come on, it was a fantastic uh, day for yeah, fantastic okay. career for uh, Francesco Totti. But what people are saying is, if this guy in his prime had moved to another club, he would have won a lot more club honors. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's just won one Serie A title, um, two Coppa Italia, and two Coppa Super Italia, which is not really a major trophy, but. It is what it is. Man. Has, it, I, I, it, I, I think he has, about, he has about 16 runners of medals. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now let's look at the papers. <laughs> look at the papers. I'm starting yeah. with the Sporting Sun. And this one is uh, Moses Hooks. Okay. Uh, um, he yes. has a complete uh, West Ham life medical. to Moses. Come on. Okay. Okay. Happy married life to Come Moses. On. We have it here. Moses <laughs> Hooks, mother of two. Yes. Okay. Uh, My United offers Mourinho five-year deal. Mm. And he has a complete Western medical. Wanted to go to Borussia Dortmund, but then it's all in the papers. Avenga, I am, I am right man for Arsenal. I mean, they should change the clubs into Arsen. You know, it's not going anywhere. <laughs> yeah, Messi is from another no. planet. We all know that. It's not from here. Yeah. Complete it's sports fun. here. Man City include a buy, buy back clause in Indiana Chelsea's deal. Mm -hmm. If that's the case, I think that's a good one. I'm not happy to represent Nigeria again. Okay, that's six. Uh, Star Sixers tournament in England. Moses makes Chelsea history. Gets second career red card. <laughs> <laughs> and That's not a good history to make. Um, which one gets you really talking? Of course, the Hannah Chow deal. Uh, Chow, yeah. not, it, I don't think it's 100% complete yet. No, uh, not yet. But apparently, we hear what will happen. I would have preferred, like I said, I talked about. I preferred him to go because we're, we're hearing rumors about Dortmund too. You know, mm. I think that would have been a, a step up for him playing the Champions League, competing for the Bundesliga yeah. in England. He's going to. Um, a West Ham United, you know, from what we saw last season, West Ham might just be one of the candidates for relegation next season mm. if they continue. Really? The way, yeah, do look at what they were, they were quite lucky this season not to be drawn into that battle. Uh, yeah, okay, let's, let, let's believe. Well, let's believe. Come on, Newcastle re re go relegated with, with better playing personnel. You know, let's believe that maybe it was because they, they moved stadium uh, from uh, the Bowling, old Bowling Ground to, yeah, to uh, the London, London Stadium. So maybe next season they would have They'll consolidated and they would okay. get used to the stadium. Yeah, yeah. okay. So um, that's, that's it for uh, Kelly Chiana. So we'll see if that deal is, you know, uh, is signed um, in the next couple of days. Sports and life now, just uh, one um, headline for me. Okay, Indidi dazzles in training. Indidi um, at table show class as well. So that's um, the Spigos training camp in Paris ahead of the, uh, the friendly against Togo. We can wait for that one to happen. And another one, well, no, which, Man City, who's Arsenal that? now, see, I see he's talking to Rihanna Cho and yeah. Alex Iwobi. Okay, I'm not <laughs> sure about Alex. Alex situation is not as bad as um, well yeah. Alex still off at the end of the uh, you know towards the end of the season he started season brightly yeah. getting into all the uh, match day scores but the fact that he wasn't scoring goals uh, and, and creating, and creating a lot well. of goals and the change in system as when he decided to change system at some point during the season mm. let's see let him have a good pre-season let's see when the new season starts what will happen okay, okay. thank well, you I'll Shina said thank you so thank much thank you you're welcome thank you for watching I'm Cecilia Amorabe. enjoy the rest of your day I'm Tayo Salam <laughs>